Man, I can't even believe I'm uttering these words right now, but I'm getting ready to leave for my last day at the Breakfast Club. So I guess I should explain why I'm quitting the Breakfast Club. We'll get into it. Cue the vlog. But like, drama's made it. My name is Dramos, and I'm probably best known as the dude that sits next to DJ Envy on The Breakfast Club. And while that's been a, a dream come true, if we're being real, I'm also so much more than just that. I'm a DJ, a music producer, a TV personality, a radio and podcast host. But more importantly, I'm just a man taking life day by day, trying to make the best of it, while hopefully making this world a better place. And who knows, maybe my story will inspire some of y'all to do the same. It's a little after 10 a.m. here on a, a Monday morning. Normally, I would just be wrapping up my day at the breakfast club, but instead, I am pretty much just getting my day started. I did my meditating, I did my journaling this morning. I am on my way to get some almond milk so I can have my smoothie. Um, and I'm just kind of getting out and about, which is an amazing thing. But you guys didn't come here for my uh, new morning routine, which maybe I'll make a video on that at some point. Leave it in the comments if y'all want to see that. Um, also, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff helps with the algorithm. You already know. But reason you're here today is people have been asking me like crazy why I quit the Breakfast Club, and I actually I had a whole nother video planned for this, uh, and it ended up just kind of being a dud. I was gonna do this whole like elaborate thing of like filming my last day and maybe doing some interviews with some of the people who work at the breakfast club some of my former co-workers and it ended up just kind of being a bit of a dud uh envy was away in atlanta getting ready for his car show he was getting an early start on her vacation so she was broadcasting from home um and I'll be real, it ended up just basically being another day as normal. Not much pomp and circumstance to it, which I will say made me feel a lot more like I made the right decision and we can get into that in a minute. Also, uh, I know a lot of people be like, damn, a week and no video, blah, blah, blah. I meant to also just do one sooner, but uh, without getting into too much details, because it's you know more so her business than mine to share, um, unfortunately, we had a little bit of accident at my place, ironically, my last day at the breakfast club when I got home. Uh, my girl got hurt at my house, so we ended up in the hospital. Um, so it's just been a lot going on over the last week or so of just, you know, making sure she's cool and, and recovering and all that stuff. And, and she's good, thank God. But that's kind of slowed down me doing this video and, and really getting into everything and just sharing with you guys how I always have been um, and kind of giving people some of the details like they've been asking. But we'll get into it today, um, why I quit the breakfast club. ready all right so first and foremost i just kind of want to make it clear that this decision to quit the breakfast club isn't something i just like randomly thought up and it just kind of happened and and that's that now some of the things that allowed me to feel comfortable as far as job security and finances things like that those things were kind of unplanned to a degree but to be real i would say as of like november 2019 i started feeling like it was time for me to kind of move on from from the breakfast club it just wasn't something that I was enjoying doing all that much anymore. And then of course, you know, a few months later, uh, the pandemic happens. And then also, you know, on the good side of things, I started getting a lot more kind of talking time because of the pandemic. I had my own microphone now and was getting brought into the conversation a little bit more. So I was enjoying it a lot more, but I still couldn't just shake the feeling of, it still just didn't feel right. Like it still didn't feel like, you know, this is where I was supposed to be at this time. You know what I mean? Like, and not to say I regret anything with the breakfast club. Like, 
like it's been the best kind of college or schooling I could have ever asked for but I also kind of felt like I was just like hitting against my ceiling you know constantly you know what I mean I was having to hold back a lot because at the end of the day it is their show they bring me in the conversation but I'm just like an add-on you know what I mean at the end of the day and I understand that and I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos where I kind of talked about some of the things that people have asked me about working at the breakfast club but I felt myself kind of becoming this caricature right like I was kind of like the younger brother that would get you know picked on uh, you know on the air it was like the jokes would be at my expense at the beginning that was all cool there's nothing wrong with that it was fun it got me in front of everybody right it got me uh, the ability to start using my voice a little bit more it got me the ability to have some recognition outside of the show that I can then leverage to do things that I wanted to do but eventually you're gonna want more than that like I have a lot more to say and I feel confident in my own voice that I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best on certain topics and me kind of just being the punching bag there the human punching bag wasn't doing myself any service as far as where I saw my career going and I didn't want to get stuck in that role of kind of being the clown of the show and and that being what people knew and expected from me and also I'll be real y'all I kind of alluded to it when I was talking about my last day you know and it kind of just being another day and and that's not something I'm gonna harbor any you know hard feelings or anything like that but to me it was a bit of a reflection of what people thought about my value when it came to the show. I know a lot of people would say, oh, but you're getting talking time, they're making you a part of the jokes and the bits and things like that, but my point is, it's very obvious that they would never see me as anything more than that. And this isn't any shade, I could take responsibility as well for parts of it, like maybe I haven't shown enough of myself to them or the people in charge to, you know, display that I'm capable of doing more than that, right? So it goes both ways. But at the same time, we're talking about a show that's been on the air for 10 years. You're talking about three people that are incredibly established. It's unrealistic to think that there would be a place for me as anything more than what I was doing. Ironically enough, Charlemagne has that quote, he always says, right, go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. And I'd heard him saying it a few times and it just kept resonating with me. And it was like, man, I need to go somewhere where I am celebrated. And not to say that they just tolerated me. I would like to think that it was a little bit more than that you know our rapport with one another but it was obvious that my contribution to the show wasn't enough that anybody would really bat an eye about if I was no longer there as far as the powers that be go and again this isn't a shade to me I saw it as a sign of okay now it's time for me to go off and create my own things and ironically enough as we talk about going where you're celebrated and not tolerated towards the end of 2020 going into 2021 I started getting put in touch with the podcast team at iHeart and to his credit Charlemagne was the one who made that connection so that's why I saved None of this stuff is with shade or with ill will. This is just me being honest. But it became really clear to me very quickly that they valued my ideas, they valued my input, my creativity, and they showed it not only with enthusiasm, but they showed it when it came to money. And as much as I'm not somebody who is motivated by money, I am an adult who is hoping to continue to grow in life and do a lot of different things in life and start a family at some point in the somewhat near future. And I need to be making enough money to do so. And I'm blessed that I've had a lot of different opportunities and I hold a lot of different jobs that have contributed to me being able to have the finances available to, you know, buy a house and do all these different things but at the same time I don't want to have to rely on five different jobs just to be able to live a comfortable lifestyle and unfortunately what the breakfast club was giving me just wasn't that it was good for the time when I first signed on but as I've grown as an adult and other things have happened I need more and the podcast side of things showed me that they valued me for getting more and I hate I hate talking about money. I hate talking about any successes I've had when it comes to actual finances. But sometimes it has its role, it has its purpose in telling people certain things because it's education at the end of the day, right? It's putting people on. So my podcast, which starts July 20th, Life as a Gringo with iHeart, they literally paid me upfront more than my salary was for the year at the breakfast club and my podcast i only have to do two shows a week right so for five days a week going into the breakfast club day in and day out i was getting paid less than what the podcast people were offering me to have my own show and that kind of leads into one of the other bigger factors when we're talking about my reason for leaving the breakfast club and that is my need for independence now independence is a huge 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 thing for me right and when I talk about independence, it goes in, in a multitude of ways and I'll kind of break it down a little bit. I mean, for one, it's just actual time to do things that I want to do or time off or the freedom to kind of have a, more of a flexible schedule. I mean, the thing that people don't really realize when it comes to the Breakfast Club is even when they were on vacation, I still had to be there, right? So I didn't get the same vacation time, not to say that I earned the same vacation time, but my point is all the other producers would be off or working from home or whatever the case may be, you know, during that month essentially at the Breakfast Club is 
is off in December into January or Thanksgiving or July 4th or whatever the case may be. Like people, everybody else was off except for me. I had to be there to run the board. That didn't give me any freedom, any independence. And also on the topic of time, this leads me into the other kind of nine to five that I'm going to be working as well. Additionally, with hosting my own podcast, I'm going to be producing podcasts for iHeart as well, helping to do creative aspects for it, helping to put it all together, right? Coming up with story pitches and being there for the recordings and doing every little thing of even helping build brand new podcasts. And the beauty is I get to do it from home. Like I get to work from home now, which was an incredible opportunity that randomly popped up amidst me kind of trying to figure out how I can transition out of the breakfast club in a way that would be comfortable for me financially. And that is the ultimate freedom. I can literally work from anywhere in the world. Like I have so many plans on traveling to places and working out of wherever the hell I end up. And that's the beauty of this whole thing. It's something I had been starving for. My freedom and independence when it came to my time. Freedom and independence also mean when it comes to my creativity or creative ideas that I wanted to do. Talking about certain things, right? Like I didn't have the ability to really push a topic we should talk about. I didn't have the ability to really chime in on a topic that I was interested in, right? Like the only time I really had any freedom to talk about things was if they threw it to me, if they addressed me, right? And again, this is no shade. It's their show, right? That's how it should be. But as I grow and as I establish my own voice and I have my other platforms and I have my own opinions that I'm formulating, I want to be able to express myself. And eventually that just becomes incredibly frustrating when you feel like you have so much more to say than what a platform is allowing you to do so. And the last thing I would say also is you just got to know when it's time to leave the nest, right? Like we all left our parents' house at some point or it will leave our parents' house at some point and it's a little bit nerve wracking maybe for some people, right? You have a lot of pressure, a lot of anxiety that comes along with moving out and starting your adult life and all these different things but you're grateful that it happened eventually because you get your own stuff and to me that's kind of what this is you know like I've had like I said at the start of this some of the best schooling from some of the greatest people to ever do this I've gotten to see it firsthand and kind of take bits and pieces okay I like this I don't like this and kind of formulate my own voice you know that's heavily inspired by what they did and I feel like I did that right I took the time I sat in the background I studied I watched the film I watched the tape right and now it's time for me to go out into the world and utilize what I've learned and I know some people may be like, yeah, but you could have done that while at the breakfast club. You know what? I could have, right? Like I could have, you know, if we're talking about from a physical standpoint, yes, I would have had enough time to do that while still at the breakfast club just because of the hours. But mentally, I was being drained by being at the breakfast club. And this isn't, again, this is no shade to that breakfast club themselves, but I was mentally being drained by something that was not fulfilling me each and every day, having to sit through something that I felt like I wasn't able to express myself fully every single day was taking a toll on my mental health and I would get home and I wouldn't feel creative. I wouldn't feel ready to go attack the ideas that I had because I would just be mentally drained. And that's one of the biggest things about it. I knew that I had to take myself out of this situation, as great of a situation as it was for so many reasons. It was also bad for me for so many reasons and it created this kind of clouded headspace for me that I just wasn't feeling creative anymore and I wasn't feeling inspired to do anything. I was just feeling very drained. And it was necessary for me to move on from that. Luckily for me, and now I really feel like I have a great sort of idea of what I wanna do, who I want to speak to and how I want to do it. So that's what this time period of my life is all about right now, man, is just building. I want to build something and I want it to be my own. I want to build my own independent thing that I can go, that I own and I can take anywhere. Just like my podcast, which is a partnership because I own the podcast itself. I want to continue to do that with other platforms and also for other people. So right now I always talk about at the end of these videos, like, subscribe, comment. I'm trying to build this platform for all of us, but that's the God honest truth. I'll be putting this out there um, in the next few weeks launching it, but I'm also starting my own production company. You know, I want to help bring other people's ideas to life, other people's podcasts, music projects, whatever the case may be. I want to help you bring your ideas to life the same way I'm creating my own things. And that's huge for me. And to have the time now and the finances now to be able to bring my own ideas to life and other people's ideas to life, that is the ultimate goal of it all right now for me. And to be honest with you, as much as some people are gonna be like, oh, well, now it's your time to prove that you can be successful. Nah, I already am successful. I literally do not have to leave the house. I have somebody else, my tenant, paying my mortgage, and I have the freedom to literally create on my own schedule. I'm successful, I've done it. I don't have anything else to prove to anyone. Now, do I have things I wanna to prove to myself? Of course, I wanna come back and I wanna be on the same level as those guys 
just for myself. But at the end of the day, I've gotten to a place where I'm cool and I just want to create and I just want to be a part of things that genuinely fulfill me and genuinely make me happy. That's the grandiose kind of sum it all up why I left the breakfast club. I don't want to be stuck to a certain schedule anymore. I don't want to have to get in bed at a certain time or else I'm ruining my next day because I have to be up so early. I want to be able to do things on my own terms and that was the biggest thing when it came to making this decision and if it never gets any bigger than this and this is as big as i ever get and as much money as i ever making a year i'm cool with it because i'm living life on my own terms and that's all that matters at the end of the day and with that said i'm gonna remind you once again please like share and subscribe i am building this for all of us i promise you that once i build this up i will take all of y'all with me who have good ideas okay so like subscribe share comment all that helps the algorithm tell somebody about this channel let them know tag them whatever the case may be let's get this up so i can then give it back to other people and like i was saying about the production company that is a real thing pretty soon i'll be announcing i'll be looking for other creatives and other people who want to do behind the scenes work or who have other ideas for creative content i'm gonna try to help you bring your ideas to life and that's my goal okay i want to be to give back to our community the community has given me so much so far i want to be able to start giving back to y'all as well so thank you i appreciate y'all for the love and support any other questions hit the comments i'll be up in there answering them and uh thank y'all i appreciate y'all catch y'all next time peace